An actor is someone, could be a person or something, could be an external system, could be an external trigger, anything else that interacts with your system. And also another rule is it should be outside your system. So an actor is anything or any other system that interacts and is outside your system of development. Right? Now delve, let's delve into a little more detail. <coughs> The representation is a simple stick, fig stick figure and also note that time can be an actor. Can anyone on the phone think about a scenario where time would be an actor based on the definition we have so far? How could time be possibly an actor or an actress? Well, let's, take a let's take a credit card system where we have to make a uh, minimum payment by so and so date, and uh, if if the payment is not received, then uh, there's going to be a, like a fee for that. Yes. Like if the time comes up. Yes. So the process is on the due date. Look for all the people who haven't made a payment and slap a fee. Right. That's got to be automated. So someone doesn't have to click on a button daily to do that. So, of course, your credit card system has a job, as we would call it in the technical world. It's called a job. A job is something that is run automatically, midnight, 2 a.m. or something like that, which automatically uh, posts certain results, right? So, that's an excellent example. So, the time would be a trigger for any automated process. In this example, it might just be a job that runs daily because some people might have deadline of 11, some have deadline on 12, and you can even change your credit card deadlines, right? So, you could have a job that runs on a daily basis triggered by time, which is 2 a.m. every night. It just looks for everyone who hasn't paid, slaps a fees onto that. Great example. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, about to say that all the daily, weekly, monthly jobs. Exactly. So, and, and, and the jobs could be your daily jobs, weekly jobs, monthly jobs, quarterly jobs. Quarterly, you might do a report, which runs automatically and stores a report in some place, right? So, you have certain jobs that would pick up data based on their filter and process them, post the results all automatically. Perfect. Next, let's look at a couple of categorizations of what actors are. So, first key categorization is primary or secondary actors. Primary or secondary actors. Primary actors are those who would initiate use cases. What do we mean by initiate use cases? Trigger, right? So, if I'm an actor, I trigger an activity. Make payment, customer is the actor, right? Wave fees, your internal employee is possibly the actor. So, anything that you trigger is your primary actor. Any questions on primary actors? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't get it exactly. Sure. Uh, primary actors are actors who trigger a use case. For each use case, you would have at least one primary actor or another use case being the trigger. So, any actor who triggers a use case, who initiates a use case would be a primary actor. Example, make payment, your customer is a primary actor, right? And the secondary actor on the other hand would be some sort of a service. <coughs> Excuse me some sort of a service that you request information from. So, for example, let's take a credit card system. I would have a interface with one of the credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, so on, right? I could have an interface with their system so that I automatically get the credit score of my applicants and use that to determine their credit eligibility and their interest rates and so on. Make sense? So, if I use that example, Equifax is a secondary actor because it's not triggering anything. But whenever I receive a loan application, my process loan application use case automatically grabs the data from Equifax. So, Equifax is my secondary actor because it's just a service. Let's take another example. I am registered with my Bank of America website online banking website that whenever my funds 
uh, funds reaches below $500, send me an alert because I want to be careful and not run negative. <clears throat> also, I have another alert for whenever I have a check deposit, let me know. Whenever I have a check withdrawal, let me know. So, in that case, I am not triggering that use case to send me an email message because I mean, what is the point of me alerting someone to alert me, right? So, the system knows whenever certain condition is met, alert the customer. So, me being the customer, the same customer who is a primary actor for a different use case becomes the secondary actor for this use case. So, primary actor is not always primary for every use case out there. The same person assumes the role of a primary actor in one use case could be a secondary actor in a totally different use case. Make sense? All right. Another quick categorization is end user actors, typically your customer actors or someone internal in your organization. That's a good differentiation to make, right? Which end user actors have certain functionality? Who within your organization have certain functionality? 